Salute. Welcome to my new series, Prospect Watch, where I'll cover games and statistical developments of several top prospects for the 2020-2021 college season. This season is littered with highly talented players such as Jalen Green, Brandon Boston, Jonathan Kaminga, Evan Mobley, Scotty Barnes, and the subject of today's video, Cade Cunningham. The OK State freshman put up a strong 21 and 10 rebounds against UT Arlington, securing a 75 to 68 win. Despite a slow beginning, Kay Cunningham seemed to find his shot and touch as the game progressed. Whether it was the corner three he hit off the ball with a great form on his shot, or his savvy finishes at the cup. His game was not without flaws, however, as he generated five turnovers and three personal fouls. But let's break down some of his positives, some negatives, and a dynamic play from the young OK State Cowboy. One of his positives was his hezzy dribble and how he used it to play off his defender's missteps. For one example, at 8.25 in the first quarter, Cade received the pass from the opposite wing as Trey Jones of UT Arlington resetted his positioning in the zone defense. Cade saw that Jones was trying to reset, hezzy dribbled for a split second, and then took Jones to the basket with his left for a finish at the cup. It was a savvy move for a guy not really known for being explosive, and he's gonna have to rely on that hezzy dribble to get his way past defenders. Another nice positive was in the second half, with the game still in balance as OK State was up 68-64 with 142 left. With K taking the ball full court, he receives a pick from his teammate Caleb Boone, with his defender Shahada Wells going under the pick. Caleb Boone's assignment, Fredlin De La Cruz, then switches to defend Cade. But right before the attack, Cade holds up his dribble for a split second to draw the aggressive Fredgelin in and attacks on his step forward, drawing contact and getting the shooting foul. Cade's dribble drive skills may not be truly explosive, but they're the type of dribble drive moves that you see from a guy like Chris Paul where he's always playing on a defender's missteps. And it's a skill that you can have even if your athleticism isn't up to par or it starts to wane. Now on to the negatives. Besides a slow start, which is natural and can happen to any freshman, especially in their first game, K seemed to struggle with not being able to blow past defenders who played him straight up. At 8.55 in the first quarter, Cade weaved through UT's defense for a potential finish at the cup, but picked up his feet early and passed out. If you're a little bit more explosive, or maybe if he pulled up for the mid-range, maybe he finishes that play, but overall it wasn't that glaring, it's not that serious of a play. As for more direct one-on-one -on -one play, at 13.55 in the second quarter, Cade had Patrick Mwamba of UT Arlington pick him up at the perimeter. Despite several dribbles to try and fool Mwamba, Cade couldn't get past him and got backed out to the deep three-point area where he passed the ball out. Again, nothing truly glaring, but possibly an indicator that he doesn't have the speed to beat defenders one-on-one -on -one when they establish position against him. Another so-called negative came at 6.46 in the first quarter, where Cade was picked up by Mwamba at the three-point line. After putting it behind his back to create space for Mwamba, K dribbles into UT's middle defender in the zone and picked up his dribble with an extra step for an ill-attempted shot at the backboard that was well defended. K could have been better off passing off to another teammate after seeing the middle zone defense creep up into position, or he could have taken the mid-range. But again, nothing major. Guys, this is his first game. Everyone chill out. Now, for his coolest play of the game, in the second quarter around 1925, K gets picked up by Patrick Mwamba at half court. Patrick fights through a pick and resets aggressively back onto Cade. The cool Cade senses the overaggression and reset back onto him, puts it behind his back to his right, takes one more dribble, and finishes at the cup. Again, it's Cade's savvy ability to sense overaggressive steps or resets by the defense that makes his hezzy dribble so effective. It'll definitely be a weapon to offset his lack of top line explosiveness. Again, this was his first game, so don't make any absurd assessments on Cade's totality as a player. Solid game from the freshman. Fun to watch him fight back from his early game funk to showcase his ability and the skill that everyone is raving about. So stay tuned for more draft prospect breakdowns as the college season continues. Peace, salute, and God bless.